10 bucks says he's drunk. Yeah. 20 bucks says he's a rich guy who drives like a douchebag. License and registration. Yeah, I uh, sort of jumped that red light back there. No harm. So have you been drinking tonight? No. I had a glass of wine a few hours ago. I'm fine. Turn off the ignition. Step out of the car, sir. Uh, look, uh, you probably don't recognize me. I I'm Mitch Carroll. You know who I am. Out of the vehicle, sir. Now. Don't look like wine to me. Turn around, put your hands on the car. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That's not good. What are you doing? Come on. Carrying any drugs, weapons? Shove it. Section 39. Adam, we got one under for DWI at Greenwich and Murray. Requesting supervisor on scene. 10 4 supervisor en route. Mr. Carroll, I'm Detective Cassidy. Why don't you look, take a seat? Take the cuffs off and let me out of this godforsaken rat's nest, damn it. You don't have the warrants to hold me. You blew a point one three. You've been placed under arrest for DWI. Screw you, sugar tits. I have powerful friends who will crucify you and your people for even putting your hands on me. Can you hear that behind the mirror? Look, you don't have a scratch on you, so that's someone else's blood you're wearing. Now, if that person is hurt and needs medical attention, we need to know now. If there has been an accident... Are you a you... Jew? You're a Jew, right? I should have known they'd stick me in a room with a Jew cop. I'm not talking to a Jew. I know the law as good as any. Does he know he has a right to remain silent? I'm Mirandizing him myself. Maybe. I am going to personally destroy you. Your sad little world's turning to shambles. Because I'm going to have you fired. And fired and tossed out on your ass. Jew cop. Make sure you write down everything he says. The amount of blood he was wearing, Inspector, there's no doubt in my mind we're looking at foul play here. Well, how do the anti-Semitic remarks fit in? They weren't provoked. I mean, the dude was pretty intoxicated. So, it might have been the booze talking. I think maybe the booze was speaking from the heart. It's inflammatory stuff, especially in this town. Well, it's a little early to worry about how this is going to play in the papers. I mean, Carol hasn't even been booked yet. DCPI has already gotten calls about the arrest. Look, I don't want this investigation derailed because of undue public scrutiny. Sir, we're moving as fast as we can on this. We've already dumped his phone, his car, and his clothes are being examined as we speak. Good. In the meantime, I want you to write another report, this time, without the incendiary comments or mention of the bloody clothes. Uh, with all due respect, Inspector, I, I don't feel comfortable with that. The official report containing the redacted comments will be locked in my safe. Let the sanitized DD5 leak. I want the official one included in the case file when it goes to the grand jury. Of course. If it goes. Now find the crime detective and do it fast. Copies of both reports go in my files too. You locked me in this room for an hour like an animal. You work for leeches, detective. They suck the money out of this town and they send it to Israel so they can make bombs and matzah. Mr. Carroll, you better calm down. We have a court order to collect a blood sample from you. I already peed in a cup, pal. Sit down. You can sit down or I sit you down. I've done nothing wrong. They arrest anybody they want. Jews are always playing the victim. But all this time, 
I'm the one who's been victimized. Would you tell him to shut up? Mr. Carroll, shut up, please. I want to call my son. Later. No, look, John's only 14 years old. He's home alone. I got to tell him where I am. After Nurse Esposito takes the blood sample, then we'll check in on your son. Oh, God. Oh, God. Tell my son I'm screwed. Oh. Did my dad do something wrong? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. John, maybe you can help your dad by answering some of our questions. Yeah, sure. Did your dad come home last night? I don't know. I was asleep. Well, we checked his phone. He called here. Oh, yeah. He did. A couple times. He woke me up. What did he say? Just thought he'd be back a little later than he planned. Do you know where your dad went last night? I don't know. He just said he was going out. It's no big deal. I'm usually asleep by the time he comes home anyway. Where's your mother? They're divorced. She lives in Brooklyn. Green. John, does your dad have a girlfriend? No. Anyone he dates now and then? I don't think so. OK. Just back. See if she's done with the car. Uh, so I uh, lifted a bunch of prints from the vehicle. But... Right, that could be any parking dependent in Midtown. Be specific, but Keep your pants on. Now, I luminol the entire car inside and out, and I found this uh, trace blood in the trunk here. Um, the stain pattern suggests indirect contact, like seepage through a sheet, maybe. So he wrapped the victim up first. Yeah, which would explain why we couldn't find any hairs or fibers. Oh, and uh, I found uh, one other piece of evidence. Novocaine. It's a new hot spot in Soho. Yeah, Carol had his car cleaned on a regular basis, so he could have hit that spot recently. Well done. Thanks. Mitch was here from 8 to 12.30 last night. You seemed pretty sure those times. No, my shift ended at 1. I was hoping he'd stick around. You talked to him? Yeah, what a sweetheart. And so funny and genuine. You know, he doesn't even like being famous. Was well, he by himself? Yeah, I thought he could use some company. He seemed a little down. Did he hook up? Leave with somebody? No, I mean, there were a couple of girls making moves, but he didn't seem interested. Any reason he left when he did? He said his son was home alone, and Mitch wanted to check on him. Oh, it's sweet. Whatever happened last night went down after you left the bar. And I told you I don't remember. You called home three times, which hit three cell towers around the city, which means you drove around Manhattan for an hour and a half before the police stopped you. Now, you must have been doing something. What is this? I mean, why don't you people believe me? I told you I don't remember a thing about last night, damn it. Are you just saying that because you don't want to talk to a Jew cop? What? Detective Sugar Tits? Jews control the world, any of that ring a bell? I never said those things. She's Irish, by the way, in case you want to get something else off your chest. <sighs> well, alcohol, you know, uh, I, I get insomnia from alcohol. Maybe I, I, I took a, a sleeping pill on the way home. I left the bar, I, I woke up in jail. No, he slept through the whole thing. I do not remember a thing about last night, I swear. Now, I think it's time that I spoke with my attorney. Lieutenant says somebody called her a body. The DOA is a female, white, single gunshot wound to the neck, through and through, no round, no shells. Look like a dump job? Good guess. How'd you know? A suspect's phone hit a cell tower about four blocks from here. Who called it in? A couple of sanitation workers. Wow, there's not a whole lot of blood on the ground. She was definitely dumped. No ID, no purse, clothing's intact. They tried to make it look like it was a robbery. You find a bloody sheet around here, like something she was wrapped in? Egyptian cotton, high thread count. The stuff beneath the sofa, I already vouched it. Found this in the dumpster over there. Cash, credit card's still here. Danielle Hertzberg. She's Jewish. 